What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we've got kind of a fun one for you. We're gonna learn to build the classic game Pong, the game that pretty much started modern video games. We're gonna learn to recreate that in Python using Pygame. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're getting up there in time on this video. So let's just add a few things um, that will make this a better game. And uh, for the ball, I think, well, one, we don't really need this ball X direction, Y direction stuff anymore because it's really all um, based on colliding with the, with the paddles, but we're going to leave that in there. Um, but one thing we do want to do is this ball speed in the X and Y direction, right? We have, um, we just start them out as two and one, but we don't do anything with them from there. And I think it would be fun if it got harder as it went up, uh, as the game went on. So let's go ahead and do ball speed. So this is in the X direction, right? And this is going to be equal to, let's say two, which is what it starts at, but then let's add score and let's use this function that's called floor division. So um, because we're updating something in pixels and it needs to be an integer, this is always going to divide down to the lowest whole number. So this won't be a one, it'll be a zero until you're up to the value of 10 uh, as your score. Um, so this way the ball will go faster in the X direction um, every 10, you know, it'll go one faster. And then in the Y direction, let's go ahead and say that it equals to one because that's what we started at, right? And then, um, every 15 it'll go one faster so i'm just winging it here but that seems like that'd be a good adjuster so let's see if i can get a decent score going here might actually start the ball a little bit faster just because the game is pretty easy to start but i mean that's how games are supposed to be <laughs> so let's see if i can get up to like 15 or 30 here um a big part of me being able to display this is being able to play the game decently but you can kind of tell when we hit 10, it got a little faster left to right. And now we are above 15 and it definitely sped up, up and down. We should get the next. Yeah. So it just sped up again in the X direction. And here, if I can get another six points, it'll speed up in the Y direction again. And it's actually already getting pretty tricky. Um, I'm definitely slightly better at writing code than I am at playing video games, but uh, you can probably tell, I know the screen capture isn't exactly at 60 frames per second, so it might look a little choppy, but uh, this game got really fast. You actually can see there, I, I won the game. Um, I beat the right player, so that's pretty sweet. Um, what we had there is we just had the net speed get higher than the AI was able to move. Um, so it's because we built a very simple AI, and so the speed that we give it in the X and Y direction is going to limit when it can finish. Um, so if you have watched this long in this series of tutorials, you definitely deserve an Easter egg, uh, or something fun to reward you for your patience. <laughs> so since now we have this fully functioning game with restart logic, you play against the computer, let's just do something fun to make this a little bit unique. It is 2021, uh, or later it is not 1972. And so let's just go ahead and do something kind of fun where every time the score increments, um, let's. Uh, let's mess with the ball color too. So, um, actually we don't even need to pass it in. We are just going to return another variable that I'll call ball color. And every time the score increments, let's go ahead and say ball color equals. And let's grab three random integers between zero to five five. And so you will need to import the random module um, to do this. But now I've just said, okay, well, when the score updates, I'm just going to generate a new color with three random RGB values. So it could literally be anything. It could be terrible. Um, like if it is black on a black background, that's obviously not ideal, but uh, th those odds are pretty slim. So uh, now let's see, we've got this ball color variable 
and um, towards the beginning because it does have to it does have to exist initially for us to use this uh, let's say the ball starts as white and let's go ahead down to where we draw the ball ball equals here and instead of it just being constantly white let's make it uh, equal to ball color all right and that's probably gonna do it um, let's go ahead and run this and see if we get a cool color changing ball local variable ball color reference for assignment yes of course it is because if you're not gonna pass it in as a variable then you do need to tell them that you are referencing the global so it has something to refer to and say okay this is an existing variable alrighty so we've done some too many values to unpack in ball x direction score oh yeah I don't think we're grabbing it back from there yet there we go okay alrighty so you can tell I'm getting uh, a little tired okay but the ball changed color that was pretty sweet um, let's go ahead I'm gonna just start out by increasing the balls initial speed to three and then two in the y direction and I'll make sure I do that in the restart logic as well but uh, you can just tell like the game starts out a little too easy which is definitely something like you can do um, if you want but three plus two there we go um, and let's take a look at this yeah so it just starts out harder um, I mean if you're a fan of challenging games I think this is a little more fun uh, you can tell that the colors are changing and I think that's just kind of fun uh, it reminds me of like a loading screen um, but this is pretty sweet like we just built of a, a full video game that was at one point the height of video games that people had to play which explains why like in the 70s everyone wanted to nuke everyone and stuff um, but uh, I'm you know I, I'm pretty pleased with this I think it's super fun uh, I, one way that you could make it to where like the the computers quite a bit better and you're more challenged is you could just up the computer speed you can mess with colors you can mess with power-ups you can mess with anything you want this is the root code of how to do it hopefully you found this useful I know this was quite a long tutorial but this really is start to finish how to build this entire game I had a ton of fun doing it hopefully you found it useful if you did if you're still here thanks for watching the whole thing if you uh, would do me the favor of smashing that like button subscribing to the channel it would help me out a ton and I really appreciate your time. I hope you had fun doing this. And uh, if there's anything you want to see in the future, be sure to let me know about in the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Really appreciate your support on the channel. And as always, good luck with your code. And thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.